by Ben Kavanagh. Here's Kibula. And on to Meadows. Out the back to Hulin. Batley looking to attack. Early going out wide. Kyle Wood does well to get back. Helping out Lachlan Walls. It's the Bulldogs who have the roll on so far. Meadows drops it off to Kibula. Keeps hold this time. Good tackle down low from Kyle Corr. Finished off on top by Moore. But Batley. The Bulldogs out of trap really quickly. And they'll get the first penalty of the game as well. Jacob Fairbank conceding on the first set of the game. Strikes it high enough and long enough. Is it accurate enough? It is. The flags go up. And after around two minutes of play, Batley Bulldogs are 2-0 up. I fact, 10 metres out towards that travelling support. Here's Dufrey. He throws the ball. And it's an interception for the Bulldogs. Ben Crooks and James will burn all. Looking to get to him and he's knocked on as the Batley man. And that is a big let off for Halifax. Great play there from James will burn all. Chase back, attack the ball. And the referee will give it as a loose carry. And Halifax get out of jail there. What have they got the sleeve here? Wood. Finds Dufrey, Dufrey just about holds onto it. Will burn all on ball out to Saltstall with Johnny Campbell. He's intercepted it. He didn't have the pace of all, but he's definitely got the strength. And yet again, Batley pluck off an interception pass to avoid conceding the try. And look where they are on the field now as Hodgson takes the ball up towards Ifax's 30. Here's White, short ball. And Battle looks twist the way over. That's fantastic. Scrambling defence from Halifax. Ow, oh, he didn't get the ball down. Kieran Buchanan. White. Race of dummy half onto Meadows. Long ball out. And Batley are over this time. On that right hand side. From one end of the field to the other. They score the first try of the afternoon. As Hooley looks to convert his own score. And the crowd will tell you, as well as the touch judges, that he's managed to do just that. Finds himself five metres out from the line and messing around to play the ball. Referee tells him to get on with it. As Wood, dummies, looks through the gap. Here's Kyle Wood. And Batley do just enough to hold him up over the line. Leak. Finds Meadows, Meadows, short ball to Flynn. Great last ditch defence from Matty G. And Dufrey as league. Short ball to Manning and Manning powers his way over. And that could be the critical score. Just before half time. As Batley challenges the Halifax line again, here's Meadows. Out of the bat to Hooley and Hooley. Throws it in Wormsley. Hits the ball. It's going to be back to one. No advantage to the referee. We'll rule the play on. And that could be a difference in the side. Halifax kind of interception. He just takes and goes forward. Batley's interceptions, they stick. As Batley are stacking men left on this side. As Lump pass out. And they're going to concede another penalty here. For offside at the scrum, which you would think that they would take the two. Who are taking his time to good effect. Put down just past the 40. Here's Dufrey. Short ball to Calcott. Will burn all back onto the field. Passes HIA. He wanted it out of the back, but he didn't come. Here's Dufrey. He gets it this time. Will burn all. Short ball to Ben Crooks, Ben Crooks out to James Sortenstall, Sortenstall comes inside and Sortenstall loses the ball and that's awful for Halifax. Could that be the sum up of the day? As James Sortenstall, usually so clinical in those situations, drops the ball over the line. As Woods finds Meadows, Meadows short ball to Buchanan, Buchanan goes through the gap and Buchanan's dropped the ball. Well, it's happening in both ends. James Saltonstall at one end and Kieran Buchanan, even, that seemed even easier to score. 
But Halifax let off the hook there. Last tackle here for Fax inside the Batley 20. As Wood kicks the ball to the corner, looking for Walsley to challenge. Knocks it back onto Ben Tibbs, and Ben Tibbs is held up over the line. He went towards the corner when it may well have been a better opportunity to go inside, but yet again it proves this battle of defence at both ends of the field. I just determined to keep this Halifax side out. Leak finds out to White, onto Woods and Woods on the 14th, sees no one home. That's a great kick from Josh Woods. That's a fantastic 40-20. And that is the big difference between the side, the kicking gear, the last tackle options. Last tackle here for the Bulldogs. Leak fires out to Meadows. Meadows well dealt with by McCrone, but somehow he managed to get the ball out and all these passes are sticking for Batley at the moment. Woods kicks it to the corner. Salt and stall. Knocks it on, but Batley have come up with the ball. And is that the try to win this game at this early stage? For Batley, bringing the score to 18 points to nil. Hooley strikes. It's gone over. It's 20 points to nil. Five out from the line. Leak onto Meadows. Meadows short ball. Back to Hooley. And Hooley tries to go through. And Hooley, is he over the line? He is. And Luke Hooley scores his second try of the afternoon. He's put down on his 40. Last tackle for Batley and Hooley will put it high and LaRoya putting pressure on this time. And is that a 40-20 for Batley as well? Mistake from Woodburn Hall. Leak waits at dummy half, finds Meadows. Onto Woods, Woods, onto Hooley, Hooley. The old that's there, they're in again here at Batley and Senior finishes off on that left-hand side. And that's another soft try for Batley. Well worked, but from an IFAS perspective, he strikes it long enough and accurately enough. The flags are up for Luke Cooley, who gets his fifth goal of the game. The forwards for the Bulldogs have made all the good yards, and IFAS has just, he's just been a beaten pack today, as Buchanan gets a quick play of the ball as well. Leak jumps out from dummy half. Through the gap, onto Meadows, Meadows is away, back to Hodgson, and Hodgson's going to run, race away to score yet another try for Batley. And this is, this is painful viewing. It's going from bad to worse. As Hooley just about converts. As Batley stacked this near side, Meadows... Onto Hooley, Hooley, can he get a hat trick? He wants the hat trick, he's got the hat trick. And Luke Hooley, twists the knife. He's certainly high enough. It hits the post and goes over. And when it's going for you, it's, it's just going for you. But the timekeeper finally gets the message. As the Hooter goes here at the Foxes Biscuit Stadium and it is an afternoon to forget as Halifax fall to a crumbling defeat here at Batley a rare nilling for the Panthers as the pressure mounts on Simon Griggs and his players final score here at the Batley Fox's Biscuit Stadium here at Batley. It's Batley Bulldogs 42, Halifax Panthers nil.